Now, let's have this problem. So, the ends of a cable are held at the top of two posts, that's 120 apart. And each post, that's 40 feet high. Now, if a cable assumes a parabolic shape and touches uh, 8 feet from the ground midway between the two posts, and a vertical cable are to be spaced every 20 feet, so calculate the length of this vertical cable. So, these are the unknown. So, we need to compute the length of these two uh, vertical cables. To solve this problem, we need to uh, place this one in a Cartesian plane. So, the x and y. So, this is our uh, parabolic cable. Then, the two poles. Then, these are the vertical cables. That's every 20 feet. So, the height from the center, that's 8, uh, eight feet. And the post that's uh, 40 feet. And these are the important points we're going to use to solve for this problem. So just that point with intersection. Now, again, 20 feet apart every vertical post. So that's 40 and this one is 60. Then these are the unknown. We have the Y1 and the Y2. Now, this is the origin that's uh, 0, 0. And this point. Okay, so this point now, that's uh, 0, 8. And this one, we have x is 60 and y is 40. So that's 60, 40. Then for this point, so we have x 20 and y is y1. So that's 20, y1. And this point, we have x 40, y is y2. So that's 40, y2. Now in a parabola, so, if this is your uh, parabola, this is the vertex, and this one is the focus. So, if the parabola opens upward and downward, so the formula, we have uh, x minus 8 squared, then equals uh, 4p times y minus k. So, this is the formula we're going to use to solve for this problem. So, because our parabola opens upward. Then, uh, first we need to solve for P. So, to solve for P, we have this formula. Then, for the vertex, so this is the vertex now of our parabola. So, that's 0, 8. Then, in the vertex, that's uh, H and K. So, our H now is 0 and K is 8. Then, for... Uh, x and y so we're going to use this point so that's 60 40 so x is 60 and y is 40 then to solve for uh, p so just substitute these values so we have uh, x is 60 minus h is 0 then equals 4p then y is 40 minus k that's 8 then you simplify so, 60 minus 0, that's 60 squared, and 40 minus 8, that's 32, then 60 squared, that's 3,604 times 32, that's uh, 128, then to solve for a P, so divide by 128, divide by 128, so P now is 28.13. Since we have P, so we can solve now this uh, vertical cable. So first solve for a y1 using this coordinate and h, k, and p. So to solve for y1, so this coordinate and from 20 y1, so x is 20 and y is y1. So from the same formula, substitute the values. So uh, x is 20 minus h, h is 0, then equals 4 times uh, p. Then times uh, y is y1 minus k is 8. Then you simplify. So 20 minus 0, that's 20 squared. Then uh, 4 times 28.13, that's 112.52. Then 20 squared is 400. Then distribute. And distribute times negative 8, that's negative 900.16. Then transpose this 900.16, so 400 plus equals... Then you add this 900 and 400, 
Then divide this by 112.52 and also at the left side 112.52. So y1 now is 11.55 uh, feet. So this is the height of the first vertical cable. Then for the second vertical cable, so using this coordinate, so 40y2, so the same formula, so x is 40, y is y2, then substitute, so 40 minus h is 0, equals 4 times uh, p, then y is uh, y2 minus k, that's 8, then 40 squared is 4 times 28, then 40 squared is 1,600, then distribute, n times negative 8, then transpose, then you add 1,600 uh, plus 900, then divide both sides by 112.52. So therefore, your second vertical cable, 22.22 .22 feet.